guys, and welcome back to Broken Sword 2, the Smoky Mirror. It's been quite a while, I know, but about a month ago, George and Nico are right here in a little place called Garamonte, which I believe is in Mexico. So we're trying to track down Kazakh. Even I can hardly remember. Um... But I'll put a link to part 3 in the description below. Whatever. So here we are in a little market. First thing I notice is a goat. Now someone told me about this. If you get a piece of coal and give it to the goat, a little something happens. What, uh, what, what was that? It's a lump of lucky coal. A car, car coal? I, I would have, uh, I would have preferred, uh, chocolate. Uh, any, any, uh, flavor, so long as it, uh, hasn't got, uh, uh, mar marzipan in it. God, I, I, I hate, uh, marzipan. You can talk. I, I mean, you're a talking goat. K keep, keep your voice down. The, the, this is, is between you and me, right? Well, I guess so. Now, I, 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 I mean it. You, 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 you tell anyone you've spoken to me, and, and, and you'll be cursed. So there you go, talking goat. Sure thing, Ellie. Uh, let's talk to this band. Hey, cheer up, guys. What's with the long faces? Our pipe player has been arrested and thrown in jail. Poor Miguel. He never broke the law in his life. Miguel? Why was Miguel put in jail? For playing folk music. What? It's true, senor. He insisted on playing traditional Cuaramonte music, even though it's illegal. Why mm. don't you try playing a tune to cheer yourselves up? No. We should be looking for real jobs. We could earn ten times as much down the mines. My cousin Ramirez was earning eight pesos an hour before he lost his legs in the accident. Accident? I assume he's going to ask for that. Tell me about the accident at the mine. There was an explosion at Teoculcan. Thirty miners were buried alive. They got some of them out, though. Two of them, including your cousin, and they left half of him behind. Hmm. Accident or not, huh? Uh, dog biscuits. Condor. That's why we're here. Take a Tracking. look at the design on this label. Uh, I have seen that before. Where? There was a ship flying a flag just like that. When did you see this ship? Three months ago. It was here, at the docks. That's why we're here. We're tracking down Condor Transglobal, which is linked to Kazakh. Like, I really should watch my old videos first. What else? What was the ship with the Condor flag carrying? I don't know, senor. We weren't allowed near the docks. That's right. Usually we meet the ships when they tie up. We play to the tourists. Well, when the Condor ship came in, we were told to go away. Hmm. That's all for now. Hello, man. Do you have crabs? No, only fish. Do you have crabs? Nice fish. Thanks. If by some remote chance I ever need a fish, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Do you recognize this statue? Si, sí, senor. It is very, very bad luck. Uh, that is Tezcatlipoca, the night hunter. The guy looked scared out of his wits. Go away! Hmm. Oh, Pearl. From the first one? If you didn't see it, someone called Pearl. George Stobart, yeah. well of all the... Mrs. Henderson. Boy, this is some coincidence, huh? When you've been married to a fruitcake like Duane as long as I have, you stop believing in coincidence. I'd met Pearl and Duane on the other side of the globe in Syria. He was an army veteran who suspected he was working for the CIA, but wasn't sure. She was less obviously deranged. Oh, Duane's, um, 
Got less fat, that's him. Is Dwayne here with you, Mrs. Henderson? Why, sure, I couldn't leave him home alone. Since Dwayne came back from the war, we couldn't bear to be apart. So, where is he now? We ain't speaking. <laughs> Why not? Why aren't you speaking to Dwayne? Because he's an old spoil sport, Sarapus. I want to visit one of those old pyramid places, but Dwayne says he has to stay in town. Right. And you don't want to go on your own. Well, there's no point in going to the pyramid if there's no one around to take my picture. True. So why, why are you even here? Anyway? What brings you to Quaramonte, Pearl? What takes me just about anywhere's the market. You drove 2,000 miles to go shopping? Shopping is my role in the economy of the great design, George. Uh-huh. Have a worm. Look at this, Pearl. A tequila worm. Don't you bring that thing anywhere as near me, honey. I swear I'll scream like a hog on a hot plate. Do it. Uh... Yeah. Catch you later, Pearl. I can imagine is there anything she could possibly tell me. Let's go into Polizia. Hey, Nico! Well, we're taking Nico with us, apparently. There she is. I have done just as I have been instructed, Professor. With the mine closed down, there'll be no one around to observe your excavations. Ah, I have visitors. Just remember what I told you, Genera. There's really no need to make a martyr out of that man. It's a matter. Akuna Matata? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, senor. Welcome to Quarmonte. Thanks. My name's George Stobart, from California. But what is this? An angel come down to Earth. Nicole Collard. Enchanté, mon général. Pardon me, senorita, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, look, we'd like to ask you a few questions. You've come to the right place, senor. Uh, tourist information. General Graciento, at your service. General Sleazy Movo. Ooh, that is a lot of stuff to ask about. We've got to start with the panties. Obviously. What do you think of these panties, General? Oh, boy, fabuloso. They're yours if you'll tell me all you know about Karzak. Karzak? I never heard of him. Do I get the panties now? I told you all I know. You told me nothing. Just one little second. Just my screen. A tiny little blue line on the left. I was doing my head in. Um, what can I swell? Well, Condos, since that's what I hear. Take a look at this label. Si, senor. Condor Transglobal. Can you tell me where to find their offices? No, senor. I never heard of them, and neither did Ronaldo. Hmm. That means at least Ronaldo has said who I can't talk about. Um, the mines, because some someone's having by the mine. I hear there was an accident at the mine a few months ago. That's correct. A lot of men killed, weren't there? A few. Thirty? <laughs> Barely one percent of the working population. Hmm. Okay, who was that guy you're talking to? Who was the guy you were talking to when we arrived? Professor Ubie, a visitor, senor, like yourselves. Did you say Ubie? Si, senor. Professor Ubie, mm. a French archaeologist. Ubie. What's Ubie doing in Quaramonte? Researching our rich and glorious past, senor. The professor is planning an expedition to some Mayan ruins. He came to see me to get an excavation permit. So ask about Condor, so let's grill him. Are you sure you never heard of Condor? Oh, yes. The company is registered here, in Quaramonte City. You are mistaken, senorita. The musicians out in the square say that a ship flying the Condor flag was birthed here. They are simple peasants. They will go along with anything you say in the hopes of parting you from your money. Still can talk about Condor. Condor is run by Karzak, isn't it? Wrong again, senor. 
Karzak has nothing to do with anything called Condor, whoever he is. Do you keep a record of companies registered in Quaramonte? Of course, senorita. Unfortunately, all the records were destroyed by a flash flood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think he's covering up anything at all. Okay, uh, well, let's ask about himself. This is the tourist office? It says police on the sign outside. It is both, senor. I am a man of many parts. I can see that, general. Can I give you a cookie? Would you like a biscuit? Are you trying to bribe me? Well, every man has his price. Mine is more than a dog cookie, Senor Stobart. Hmm. Right, and why is music banned? Is it true there's a restriction on music in Quaramonte? Yes, there is. An emergency measure introduced by Nuestra Senora. Folk music is a link with the past for some of these people. Take away their musical roots and what do they got left? Easy listening. You think easy listening could replace a musical heritage hundreds of years old? Why not? It happened in your country. Did it? No, who knows? Um, I'll be back. Well, he's going to stop me, but I'm going to try and look at this chart. Since, you know, so certain talky choices may not come up until I've done such a thing. This is in your. Leave that chart alone. Would you mind just put it down and have a look and just then say, oh, I didn't see anything? Where I'm just pulling it out for just before the good stuff and then letting it be stopped. Because once he's looked, what's he going to do? Anyway, let's talk to Ronaldo. Who, uh, I don't know, maybe he'll be an oppressed. Hi, second I'm George command. Stobart. Hello, senor. How can I help you? Um, would you like a cookie of the dog variety? Would you like a gourmet dog snack biscuit? I would love one, senor, but I would have a problem with my teeth. Toothache? No, senor. If the general catches me eating on duty, he'll knock them out. Uh, I'll ask you about a pyramid then. Are there any ancient pyramids near Quaramonte? Si, senor. But it's not very impressive. It's in ruins. That's perfect. Would you be willing to give a guided tour of the ruins? I can't. The general would have a feat if I left all this paperwork. So I need to get rid of the general somewhere. Okay. So long. And as well, I'm assuming. I wasn't going to try right. investigating the passage while. All right, then, Seraphine. We'll have to talk about in there. Why is it not fast travel? Talking to Nico straight away or something. Um, it's about Ubier. That man we saw talking to the general was Ubier. Didn't you recognize him? I never met him, remember? The guy I called in Paris claimed to be Ubier, but he sounded nothing like the man in the police station. Maybe the professor really is innocent. Nah, it's too much of a coincidence that he's here in Quaramonte. Yeah, yes it is. We can talk about the chart. Did you notice that chart on the police station wall? Yes. It looked like a map to me, but I couldn't make out the details. Whatever it was, the general didn't want us to see it. Um, Karzak. Tell me about this Karzak guy. Well, I saw him for only a few minutes, but he frightened me. I got the impression that Pablo was nervous when he was around too. His eyes, they're like a wild animal's, like a tiger. That's what scared me most about him. He looked so unpredictable and dangerous. What is that mean? Take a look at this. <laughs> Mon Dieu! 
Oh, it's the Where did you get that kind of money? It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's house. Um, again. Need to really talk about anything right now. I'll see what's over this. This way. There's the professor, and there's Dwayne. He does look fat, so it looks nothing like his face picture. Professor Ubier? Yes. Who are you? My name is Stobart. George Stobart. I thought that face was familiar. Remember me, George? Isn't that? Dwayne Henderson. Hi, Dwayne. Uh, just a moment. I have a few questions to ask the professor here. Uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing in Caravante, professor? Seeking Mayan artifacts. Central American history has been my life's work. Hmm. Do you know a guy called Pablo? Have you ever employed a Central American butler or servant? I've never employed any kind of servant, monsieur. Hmm. Ooh, a angry face. Damn. I'm gonna talk to you while you're pulling that angry face. Does it not change? There we go. Um, Karzak. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Yes, I know him. In fact, if it wasn't for Karzak, I wouldn't be here. What? He's financing my expedition. Happy face. Shocked face. Uh, what else? What Nico? Bank. Stem. Take a look at this, Professor. What have you got to say about that? Where did you get this? Never mind that. How do you explain these withdrawals? I left my financial affairs in the hands of my secretary. Including the withdrawal of funds in cash from your personal account? I trust Gwyneth implicitly. And why Marseille? Why the very place my girlfriend was taken? That's obvious, Stobart. We are both the victims of the same devious plot. You know, what plot? I have no idea. Yeah. Gun on me. Do you see this label? Yes. It refers to a company named Kondo. What of it? I traced that company here to Quaramonte. Do you know where I can find the offices of Condor Transglobal? The company no longer exists. They went bankrupt recently. Hmm. He's not going to tell her that interesting either, is he? Hey, Dwayne. Uh, what are you doing? Well, I don't know what he's doing here, but yeah. Are you still working for... you know who? Who's that, George? You know I'm retired. Oh, nothing. Uh, forget it. I confused you with somebody else. Oh, I do that all the time. Um, talk to me about panties again. What do you think of these panties, Dwayne? Lord, hot stuff, George. You buy those for your girl? No, a guy we know in Paris bought them for her. Oh, you're a threesome then. Why are you looking <laughs> at me like that, George? Yeah, I get it. Um, I'd rather talk to him with the professor not there, to be honest, but, uh... He does know does the name like? Karzak mean anything to you? Sounds like a comic book villain to me, son. He's the man behind Condor, and the rat who kidnapped Nico. You know, the first time I met you, I was deeply impressed with your naive simplicity. I said to Pearl, if we ever had kids, I would have wanted a boy like George. But I underestimated you, son. To go around flattering the pictures. That to that, that to that. Uh, what's in a truck? Did I click on a truck? Would you like a biscuit, Dwayne? Oh biscuit. no, those gourmet dog snacks bring me out in a rash. You've tried them? They were on special offer. Pearl bought a whole crate. When I asked her if she was thinking of keeping a dog too, she just laughed. <sighs> truck. Did you drive all the way down here? Hell no. 
Pearl did the driving while I followed the maps. The way she handled the wheel, you'd think she'd been trucking half her life. Okay. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. The, the only thing about these, I love broken start games, but in terms of doing like a let's play through them, you also got to do a lot of talking um, to do stuff, and you know, this is going to be just over 20 minutes long. I didn't really go anyway. I've talked to people, but I've literally picked up nothing new and such and such. So, what I'm going to start doing, which I probably should have done from the beginning since I've never played these games before, I never play games I've series at least that I've done before is go on ahead and do what I think is about 15-20 minutes worth of actually getting somewhere and then we'll play through and I'll be like right you got to do this then you're going to do that and la 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 rather than going hmm I should talk about this I assume I shouldn't talk about this and I might be missing something so episode should be a lot more sort of action packed and such uh, certainly in terms of progress so I'll start that so much better. So thank you for watching part 4 in the return of Broken Sword 2. Um, like I said, uh, if you want to check out part 5 when that's available, it won't be very long at all. It certainly won't be a month for the next one. It won't even be a week. It'll be a lot quicker. So thank you for joining me. Hope you have an amazing day. Remember guys, no matter what happens, never surrender. Goodbye. I will suffer. I will burn. Let hate remain. They slay my soul, but I'll never surrender.